How bad had it got? How bad? Uh, it, was, it was very, very bad. You know, I was in a bit of a predicament, as we could say. You know, but with my nephew doing the um, honourable thing and giving me the opportunity to stay alive, you know, and enjoy a yeah. decent enough life, you know, I can't we, complain. Were you told that if you didn't get the transplant or something similar, then things were pretty bleak? Your life was you yeah, know, it, very Yeah, it gets tough because ultimately you end up on dialysis, mm. which is um, it's not much of a much of a life once you're on that, you know. But I, I was the kind of individual, I, I didn't actually want to want to take it on board, you know. I was in denial for about six, seven months. Mm. And I kept saying to myself, you know, I'll get through it and I will overcome it because that's just my mentality, being an ex-sportsman and yeah. some things never change. And what, so, is it right, you'd gone to Vietnam on a holiday the year before, well, I think? Obviously, it was a holiday, it was work. It was work, work. OK, OK, OK. <laughs> a working holiday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, you came back... And you sort of, your body started to change, did it? You yeah, it, it did, yeah. I just um, started to gather a bit of, bit of water, water retention. And um, I, I remember, see, my wife, at the, my wife was saying to me, you know what, you're putting on a bit of weight, and I'm saying to myself, no, nah, no. Nah. In that supportive way, that yeah, wife, Yeah, 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 as, as, as you do, <laughs> you know. a bit chubby there, Andy. Yeah, and yeah. I kept saying, no, 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 because I was, I was always very strict on my weight once I retired as well. And every day I just seemed to get... Growing and growing and yeah. growing, and finally, and I, you were making television appearances, and you were sort of looking yeah. a bit puffy, I think, yeah. probably. Yeah. And I, in in the end, I think her nagging basically got me to go into hospital. And there I, you go. You, that's a license to nag. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 it's, not. no it's, not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> and Alexander, I mean, uh, at what point, as a family, did yeah. you really realise mm -hmm. that for you know your beloved uncle, you know he's a superstar in yeah. this country, yeah. but actually he's your uncle. He's yeah. He's a brother, he's a son, he's a husband. You know, yeah. all of those things matter before, you know, stardom yeah. and money. Um, for you, at what point did you just think, this is looking like life and death? You know, well, we've got to do something. Like I said, I think when I very first seen him mm. and I seen the state he was in, I just thought, I've got to do what something. What was he like? What was the shock? It was just the decline in everything. Like, seeing him so fit and trim, going to the gym. Yeah. So then seeing him tired, not wanting to do anything, lethargic. It was just like, now nah, if I can do any, something, I will do whatever it takes to help. So you had to go and check whether you were a match? Yeah. Um, was your was your mum OK with that? Was Andy's sister oh, yeah, OK was, with that? Yeah, yeah, she was very supportive. She asked me if I wanted to do it. I said, obviously, I don't need to feel forced into doing it. And I said, if, if I can do it, I'll do it. Of course, we're talking about this today, apart from the fact that it's great <coughs> to see you, Andy, and to meet you as well, and to see how well things are going, because there's a debate in, in the Commons today yeah. about an opt-out system uh, for organ donations. At the moment, you have to choose to be a donor, carry a card, let relatives know. Um, but this would mean that you had to choose to opt out. What are your feelings about that, Andy? My feelings? Well, I mean, everybody knows my feelings, especially the position I was in. I think it's a great initiative, and hopefully it will get passed today. Um, you know, to have the opportunity to give someone life if someone passes away, I, I think it's an amazing mm. thing because that's why I sit in front of you now. Mm. You know, for for my nephew to have done it for mm. me. And Alexander, I mean, before this had happened yeah. in your family, had you thought <coughs> about organ donation? Or is no, it? This is the thing, isn't it? We don't. Mm. It's one of those things that you don't yeah. necessarily talk about, and that's part of the issue, isn't it? That until someone you love yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I thought about and ever thought, would have thought I'd need. I'd find myself doing or being in that situation, whether it would be me or a family member. I mean, obviously, now you're left with one kidney. Yeah. And so that, is, that, does po you know, that does pose a risk. I and mean, was it difficult for you to accept Alexander's gesture? And, or, or was it just you just had to go ahead with it? No, it, it was very difficult. Because um, even when, when I had the transplant and then I was up and about after about three days and I went to go see Alex and to see the way Alex was, he wasn't very well after the operation. Mm. And I was obviously, well, not half saying myself, I said to myself, look, if I could change it now, I would. I would go back ill again Aww. to see Alex well, because that, that's where I was at. Because I didn't want to see Alex go through the pain that I've been enduring. Mm -hmm. And that, that was very, very difficult for me. Is it, is, is it, has your bond changed? I mean, yeah. he's definitely come even yeah. closer here. Mm. Definitely. Not. Well, it's wonderful. And for those who worry about it, and for those who feel that, you know, it's an emotional thing... And about they, the opt-out. About yeah. the opt-out, and worry about the fact that, you know, we'll be, we had a guest on earlier who felt it was like state control of our bodies. How would you reassure them? It's an option. Yeah. That's what our lives are. Options, we either say yes or no. So being able to opt in or opt out, that's your yeah. choice. Yeah. Um, my, my, my choice would be now. I mean, when my time's come. I'm not going to know if I'm here or not, so, you know, you can have all my organs, not a problem to me. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you. Thank you.
Great to see you. Great to meet you, yeah, the you. hero in this story. Yes. Um, and Do you sort of get to the bottom of that a bit now? Like, listen, <laughs> just to remind you, can I borrow the big car? <laughs> can I borrow the milk? You know, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah? yeah. No. He's thinking, no, he's yeah. doing that. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. That's